My grandmother, whose name is Mildred Evans, uh, we grew up um, 600 day Cherokee courts, which is what we call the projects. Um, and on the weekends, she would always cook and give away free food um, to those who didn't have it. It was just a, a family thing we did every weekend. But I, I jumped on a Greyhound bus um, when I graduated high school, and I went to Benedict College in Columbia, South Carolina. But before I left, I sat down with my grandmother, and she gave me two things to be successful in college. She gave me a, a crock pot and an electric skillet, and she told me you'll never be hungry. Well, I took that crock pot and that electric skillet and I started cooking for the students um, on Saturday nights, uh, Friday nights when the cafeteria was closed. I would sell um, bowls of chili, uh, spaghetti and hamburger meat, um, sloppy joe, whatever I can just to keep some money in my pocket. Well, when I finished college, I, I come back to Blauville, Arkansas, and I was lost. I, I didn't know which direction to go in. And I was um, teaching preschool. Uh, so I, I was out riding one day, and then, like I said, there was an older lady, and she was carrying gallon buckets of water from my, from my house to our garden, to water our garden. I said, well, she reminded me of my grandmother. I said, it was my grandmother. I would want someone to get out and help her. So I got out of my truck, and I, I thought I was going to help her, but she helped me. I ended up being out there for like three to four hours. Uh, but when I left there, I knew what I wanted to do. I wanted to garden. I was, I was having a hard time in life. And I was, I was stressed out, I was depressed, I didn't know what I was coming, I was going. And, and to run into gardening um, and being able to grow something and my stress level go from here to here was something great for me. Sometimes you gotta get out there and put your feet to the pavement and then you got to work and earn your money. Sometimes you have to go all the way around the world and come back to get to where you need to be at. Well, this one particular time um, I had over a, four or five hundred cucumber left over, all type of cucumbers, I mean, jalapenos and things. So I decided that um, I was going to give some to my mom. My mom made a jar of pickles. I said, I can do better than that. So I went home and I sat down in my um, kitchen uh, with Miss Tamika Matches at the time. And we, we sat down and I come up with a recipe and I made some pickles. And it were pretty good. Um, everything that you have in those pickles is, is from me. That, um, African Americans name their food after something that you can't see, which is soul food. Um, so these are my soul, this is my soul food. Um, when I first started, I wouldn't write down my recipes. Um, I wouldn't write down anything. I made pickles for how I felt um, with, from my soul. I started out working with the kids at Mississippi County, Arkansas ELC. And with those kids, they didn't know where their food was coming from. So I, I enjoyed taking those young ladies and those young men out into the garden. Well, when I looked at those young men, I could see myself, um, eyes wide open, lost. Um, once I showed those kids how they could make money off just that small little area in the yard just by growing something simple, their hands went up, their eyes lit up, and they started to ask questions. Uh, with the kids, I realized when I was teaching preschool, the kids don't care what you know until they know that you care. And that's the same thing about your community. Your community don't care what you got or what you know until they know that you care about the community you live in and my community knows I love them and that I do care about them because I give them all to Blavel and the surrounding communities every time I get opportunity to and I don't expect nothing back in return. I just like seeing the smiles on their faces and just seeing people um, progress in life and do better with themselves. Um, during COVID-19, people were home. Uh, the grocery store shelves were empty. No one had, couldn't eat a good hot meal sometimes. And I said, well, my, my grandmother was able to pull it off with the little that she had. I can pull it off and do the same. So when I did my grand opening, I had a lot of hot dogs left over, and I said, well, I can serve hot dogs. And instead of polar sausages, I can do hot dogs. So I, I would go to Sam's Club and get my hot dogs, and I would sit up out in front of my store, and every Saturday morning, I would serve hot dogs until they were gone. Sometimes it was three to 400 hot dogs. And like I say, I don't have a lot. I don't have much, but I knew I could feed someone and make them feel better. So what the customers and tail started doing when I gave them something, I didn't ask for any money. They started to pay it forward. They would leave a little tip or they would show up the next weekend with something like here, um, take this and feed the next person, which meant a lot. So like I said, we, we love, love conquers all. And when I say they're made with love, my pickles are made with love, well, I give with love. Uh, Sometimes people give and expect things back in return. I don't expect anything back. 
And, and, and I wrote this poem because I, I think about where I come from to where I'm at now and where I'm trying to go. And that poem simply is, my hopes and dreams are vibrations in the wind that keep coming back again and again and again. I put myself in position of transition, engulfed all that was around me, and I found me. I've always wanted to be a cool cat, but I found myself being a victim of the blues cat. All I got is my mind. I can't lose that.